This is round one for Povetkin versus Hamer. And both guys meet the centre ring. Not much action at the moment between Hamer and Povetkin. Both guys trying to take centre ring. Hamer got his hands very close up. Oh, and then Hamer holds Povetkin in a uh, headlock. Hamer does look the bigger guy in there. Looks like the thicker set guy at least. So it'd be interesting to see what sort of mentality Hamer comes in with, whether he actually comes to genuinely win the fight or he comes just to survive. We'll see early on. Povetkin, not much from him at the moment, just having a good look at. Hamer throws a couple of light hooks. Hamer tucks up, Hamer tucks up again. Povetkin, a double jab and then a body shot. Nice body shot, left hook to the body from Povetkin there. Good hand speed. Povetkin taking little steps back and then Hamer holds him again. They touch gloves. Hamer was very eager to touch gloves. I don't know if Hamer's going to be in sparring partner mode or he's going to come to fight. Chucks a right hand over the top. But um, Povetkin takes a step back. Povetkin with a double jab. Hamer looks for the right hand and then looks to hold and tie up Povetkin. Very eager to tie Povetkin up very early, Hamer. End of the first round. Just a, a clip there of uh, Lebedev as he um, is watching on the on the cruiserweight. I think Lebedev still. I think Lebedev still champion, cruiserweight champion. So for me, it's going to be interesting to see what sort of Hamer comes into this fight tonight. Whether he's actually going to come to win or he's going to come to survive. The early signs are, from what I'm seeing, is that. Hamer looks like a guy who's going to be coming to survive. Um, he doesn't. He, the way he's boxed so far, he's done a lot of holding so far. But we'll see. Let's look here. Well, there's a replay. Povetkin right hand over the top. And he got through the guard. He's round the side of the guard with the hands up. I don't want to see him touching gloves. They're touching gloves for the second round. Now, this is this is somebody who's maybe trying to challenge to beat Povetkin. He's already touching gloves. I don't I don't like to see guys touching gloves. It's a very bad sign for me. It's not a sparring session. You know, you come in here to win. The other guy you're fighting, you're touching gloves, is looking to knock you out. Or is he looking to knock you out? Have you just come for a payday, Hamer? Have you come to fight? Hamer moving back towards the ropes voluntarily and then ties Povetkin up, holds it, gets him in a headlock and the referee says, stop holding. Hamer puts his hand out, his glove out again and then moves into Povetkin and ties him up again. Again, all Hamer's doing at the moment is coming close and tying him up. Referee's having a word with both of them, particularly Hamer. They touch gloves again. See, I don't like these touching gloves. I just, it's all negative for me at the moment. Hey, it's a nice little combination here from Hamer on the inside. Try to throw one, two there. The interesting thing, what happens, now, now, Povet, good body shot again. And a right hand round the corner from Povetkin. Right hand over the top. Clubbing right hand over the top there from Hamer. It's not much action in this fight. Fekin jab to the body. And then a right hand round the corner. He keeps finding that right hand round the corner of Hamer's guard. I think he's got the attention of Hamer. Again, Hamer tries to put his arm round Povetkin in a headlock. Don't ask me why. Takes a big gulp of breath. Throws a right hand. And as he tries to throw a right hand, Povetkin ducks under and then throws a good body shot into Hamer. Doing the right thing here, uh, Povetkin, going to the body of Christian Hammer. Hammer hasn't actually been knocked out since 2010, where he fought Marius Vak. When he fought Tyson Fury um, in 2015, just before Fury went on afterwards to go and fight Klitschko for the title. That fight went to uh, eight rounds where Fury stopped him. Oh, it was a retired 
on that. That fight has now been considered a no contest um, due to Fury and uh, UCAD and Tyson agreeing to the uh, backdated two year ban. Body shot again for Povetkin, and then a left hook up the top. The crowd are cheering, as they would do, pro Povetkin fans in Moscow. Nice jab for Povetkin. Povetkin's made the more positive start here. But like I said in my preview to this fight, I don't think Hamer's got a, a, a cat in hell's chance against Povetkin because I don't think anybody will dare to try and beat Povetkin. Good uppercut on the inside there from Povetkin. Threw two punches and threw the uppercut on the inside. And Hamer held on, holds on. I don't just don't think... They touch gloves again. I just don't think Hamer's coming to Moscow to cause the upset. I just, I just don't see it. When you come to Moscow against Povetkin, you're coming to get beat. That's what it is. That's the impression I get. And I've seen nothing so far in the first two rounds to suggest anything different. So we're just waiting for round three now between Povetkin and Hamer. That could be, I could have read this completely wrong. And Hamer's just trying to get into the second half of the fight, but I don't see it somehow. He's not putting the work in. Let's go to replay of round three now. Povetkin slipped and landed a nice body shot left to the body. He goes left hook, two left hooks. There. Hamer's too happy to engage in touching gloves every round. Like the sort of the, the sort of glove touching which is like don't hit me hard. They touch them again for round three. I don't know if, if Hammer and, and or Hamer uh, Hammer have and, and Povetkin have got some sort of relationship outside the ring. But um, they shouldn't have that sort of relationship inside the ring. Because that might look, to me, at the moment, this fight looks like a glorified sparring session. Hammer backs to the ropes, tucks up tight, and Provetkin's on the front foot now. Hammer voluntarily going to the ropes, by the way. Double jab from Provetkin, looking to work his way in. You can't knock Provetkin for what he's doing at the moment. But what Hammer's doing, I've got no idea what the game plan of Hammer is. This is not the hammer that fought David Price. Definitely not. Hammer backing up to the ropes. He certainly wasn't touching the gloves of Tyson Fury. And he wasn't touching the gloves of David Price from what I remember that fight. Left hook from Provetkin. Tried a leaping left hook there. Hammer keeping his hands up. It really looks to me like Hammer's going to try and go 12 rounds against Povetkin without doing too much damage. Left hook again to the body. Hammer's not throwing anything yet. Now Hammer tries to throw a right hand. And he throws the, he, these punches that Hammer's throwing are punches to try and keep Povetkin off him. I'll throw a, keep a, a couple of punches there so you don't hit me too often. He tries a big, big right hand, which Povetkin's eat over to see. And look, again, he's touching gloves and nodding at Povetkin. Why? Is Hammer intimidated by Povetkin? Have people had words with, with Hammer before the fight? <laughs> Maybe you came with the intention from the belief that he was really going to come over and cause an upset against Provetkin. Because he's in good shape, Hammer. He looks in good shape. Look, they touch gloves again. Left, double left hook. I think Hammer's landed as many punches as he has touched gloves cleanly uh, with uh, Povetkin. Very, very bizarre performance from it's almost like he's a sacrificial lamb. Like when uh, Povetkin fought Manuel Shah, felt the same way too. And look, Matt, just back into the ropes. I don't know what Hammer's doing. He looked like a knockout waiting to happen. Uppercut from Povetkin. Done a left hook. Hammer's doing absolutely nothing. I'm telling you something. If Hammer keeps fighting the way he's fighting here, he is looking to get knocked out because he's not doing anything of any real purpose. He's holding... When he throws the right hand, it's clumsy. He's got a nervousness about him when he's fighting. Disjointed almost. Like, I'm not sure what he's doing. Every time Povetkin gets close to him, he's tucking up tight. He throws a right hand over the top. But when he throws it, he's so slow. Povetkin's even slip under and throw punches. End of the round. It's like, it's like almost that Hammer is either intimidated by Povetkin or... Or he's in awe of Povetkin. 
Like, you know these guys that take part in these charity matches where they get to spar with their idol. That's what Hayne was boxing like. He's boxing like a guy who's met his, his idol. He's like he's met his, 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 uh, the guy he's always wanted to meet. And he doesn't want to hit him too hard. So he tries to hit him. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't try to hit you too hard there. For me, Hamer's performance has been disgusting. Really disgusting. Can't knock Povetkin. He's about the business. Nice combination here from Povetkin. Hard hooks to the body and to the head. There is a difference between when Povetkin's touching gloves and hitting Hamer. When Povetkin touches gloves with Hamer, he's still hitting with some hard shots looking to knock him out. When Hamer touches gloves with Povetkin, it's don't hit me shots. That's what's going on here. Two different mindsets. So somebody, particularly in Hamer, he better change the way his mentality or he's going to get knocked out. I'm telling you, he may not have got knocked out by, since 2010, but he looked like he wants to get knocked out in 2017 in Moscow. He probably wants it on his box record because this is not good. This is... This is not good from from Hamer. He doesn't look, look ambitious. I mean, he looks in great shape. So I don't know what he's trying to do. This is round four. Hamer again on the back foot. Hands up. Looking at Povetkin. Just tucking up and looking just to guard his body every time Povetkin looks to inch his way towards throwing the left hook to the body. Hamer just walking around the rope. Left hook to the body. Right hand, left hook, right hand, double left hooks. And Hamer just smiles at Povetkin. Like, what, what, why are you hitting me? What are you hitting me for? Why are you hitting me? He throws a right hand now. So Hammer responds with a right hand. Left hook, right hand from Povetkin. Fight warms up in round four. As if to say, why are you hitting me? Hey? Eh? Alexander, why are you hitting me for, man? We're friends. You told me you wouldn't go too hard to me in, in, in this left hook to the body again. Hammer smiles. That means he's hurt him. That's a sign he's hurting there. Right hand there and Hammer smiling. He certainly wasn't smiling when David Price hit him on the chin. Hammer looks, uh, he does look terrible tonight. Hammer's come with no ambition or any ambition he had may have been talked out of him before the fight. <laughs> We're in round four here and Povetkin is just taking his time, walking around the ring and when he wants to just throw punches and not much is coming back at him. Here comes Povetkin again, trapping Hammer on the ropes. And then Hammer just ties Povetkin up to stop the work rate. And that comes Povetkin again. Left hook up top from Povetkin. Hammer's got to be careful that right hand. There's an uppercut inside Povetkin. He's got to stop with that right hand. He's throwing looping right hand. And he's be able to throw punches in between that. So when he throws the right hand, Povetkin's slipping under and throwing body shots or coming up the top with the uppercut. I have to say Hammers is predictable. Body shot there from Povetkin. Then a right hand on top. And Hammer smiles at Povetkin. He won't be smiling when Povetkin knocks him out. That's for sure. Povetkin says you can touch gloves all you want almost. But I'm looking to take you out of there. Why is Hammer keep... He just wants to keep touching gloves at Povetkin. As I say, okay, look, remember this is a sparring session. Keep it friendly. Keep it friendly. Keep it friendly. Oh, left hook there. That one hurt Hammer. That left hook at Hammer, and that was in between. Like I said, that was in between. In between, I say he's predictable, and Povet can catch him when he's throwing shots because his shots are predictable and he's slow. So when when Hammer decides to open up, Povet can even catch him with shorter left hooks inside. The way this fight is going, I can see Hammer getting knocked out. I can definitely see Hammer getting knocked out in this fight. It's always a bad sign when you see a fighter smiling and then wanting to touch gloves. Left hook round the corner again. Like I said from round one, the, the punches that Povetkin are landing, they're landing around the side of Hammer's guard. So he, left hook coming around the side. The body shots are going around the side as well. Everything Povetkin's thrown tonight has been round the side or through the middle. So basically, it's an illusion if you think that Hammer's actually protected himself because he's not. The whole idea to protect yourself is to make sure you don't get hit. Not put your hands up and leave yourself in a position where you're getting hurt. Referee says protect yourself at all times. This is round five. And uh, 
same thing again. Povetkin comes to the center of the ring. Hammer takes voluntary steps to the, on his back foot to the ropes. And here goes the left hook to the round the side of Hammer's guard again. It's only a matter of time before one of those real good punches scramble the senses of Av Hammer. Because you can't keep taking shots like that round the side of your... your they touch gloves again. Hammer um, puts his hand out to touch gloves after getting hit with a combination by Povetkin. I don't know what Hammer was told in the dressing room or was even told uh, in the build-up to this fight. I don't know what he was told. I don't know if somebody said, you know what, okay, you come to Russia, you know, Alexander won't take it too hard, won't be too hard on you. Um, you know, this will be like our friendly sparring session. Don't worry. You pick your money up. Alexander can move up the ratings and they've just touched gloves again. So I don't know if that's the situation there because I've got to start thinking it. Every second you're touching gloves, to me, it seems to me, don't hurt me. Don't hit me, don't hurt me. Again, hold arms, and then they touch gloves again. I'd be telling referee, stop touching gloves. Look, he went to touch gloves again. This time, Povetkin said, nope, I'm not touching your gloves. I can't say the one thing Povetkin looks okay, but Povetkin himself lacks head movement. He does lack head movement. Here comes Povetkin. He's left hook happy, I'll give him that. Povetkin, very left hook. Here comes Heyman now trying to throw some punches. Povetkin's able to see them though. They're telegraph shots. He's able to slip under or slip to the sides. So he's not feeling the full weight of Hammer's punching. Right hand over the top there by Povetkin. Then to the body. He's doing good body work, Povetkin. He's working body and head. You can't keep taking his shots. And it's clean shots he's hitting him with to body and head. I'm expecting at some point to have him to get dropped by a body shot. I'm expecting it. Because you can't keep taping shots like that over and over and over again. Clean shots. Now I try to throw a shot here. And Povetkin just slips out of the way of it. The one thing, the negative about Povetkin, he, he's moving more or less in straight lines. And he does keep his, he doesn't move his head. How am I trying to, I don't know, he's trying to get him in another headlock. Right hand over the top from Povetkin. Now nah, left hook from Povetkin. And then another left hook from Povetkin. Right hand over the top from Hammer lands. Doesn't move Povetkin. Povetkin's walking forward. Right hand from Povetkin. Straight right hand down the pipe. Oh, good shot there from Hammer on Povetkin. Povetkin takes it. Round. So, um... Uh... If you're wondering how I've scored this fight, all the rounds have gone to Povetkin, as I expect. So, I don't know what Christian Hammond's game plan is. I don't know what his trainer's telling him. I don't know what the game plan is. It looks like Christian may have left his hammer at home. These combinations, left, double left hook, triple left hook, upstairs from Povetkin. Nice work from Povetkin there. Again. Now the body shot, a head shot there, a right to the body, a left hook to the head, followed up by another left hook, and then another left hook by Povetkin. Even though Hamish throws a punch back, here comes Povetkin again. Jab, gets caught with a right hand coming in, but lands his own right hand through the middle. This is round six. It's all five rounds as being to Povetkin at the moment. So Povetkin comes out for a right left jab, right hand combination. And they both connect on the hammer. Hammer with his hands up in the red, um, the blue and red trunks, hammer. And uh, Povetkin in the black with gold written on his name. Povetkin on the front. The jab from Povetkin here. Oh, that's a body shot there from um, Hamer, but that looked borderline, that one. Very borderline. They touch gloves. Hammer, the one, wanted to touch gloves again. Nice little upper cleft, upper cut inside there from Povetkin with a right hand. Left hook to the body. Hamer acknowledges the left hook to the body. 
Why? I don't know. He's smiling. Jab for the middle. Right hand. Left hook. Hammer tries to fight back. Don't know what kind of right hand that was from Hammer. Right hand. Wigging right hand. But Fevekin just steps two steps away back from it. Can you believe this is the guy that beat David Price? This is the guy that bought... This is the guy that beat uh, Ergen Tepper. I can't believe it's the same guy. Like I said, I'd like to see this fight outside of Moscow. I'd like to see this fight in America. Referee breaks them off and let me go again. Povetkin just switches up a second to the left hook to the body again. He's really digging a right hand over the top. Oh, left hook again. And Paima tries to ping um, Povetkin with a right hand. But Povetkin lands a left hook back. You know, nice little steps back from Povetkin. Anytime Hammer tries to come forward, he takes two steps back. So that gets him out of distance and out of way of danger of big shots. This is round six. Hammer again voluntarily takes two steps back to the ropes. He's back against the ropes again. And here comes Povetkin. I can't say Povetkin looks spectacular. Because you've got a guy there who always wants to touch glove. This is no more than a glorified good right hand there from Povetkin. Clean on the chin of Hamer. He took that. Left hook as well from Povetkin. Right hand, left, right. Oh, good combination there from Povetkin. Oh, Povetkin looked hurt himself there. Povetkin looked hurt. End of the round. Oh. That didn't look good. Lebedev just, Dennis Lebedev just blew me a kiss. View the screen. I don't know if Povetkin was hurt there or was off balance. That was a good punch though from Hammer. So... So I want to go look about it in the replay whether he was actually hurt or he, you know, this is a big guy that Hammer is. Let's look at the punch again. Here we go. Here's right hand on the top of the head of Povetkin. Left hook, Povetkin lands. Let's look at it now. Povetkin doing his work. Here we go now. Right hand through the middle, left hook. And then I think Hammer's hurt. It looks like he's hurt. Then he gets, like, they don't show it. They won't even show it. So I don't know if Povetkin was actually hurt. They clicked that bit out. So they don't want their star Povetkin looking like he was hurt. I have to go back and look at that and take. This is round seven. Povetkin looks like he's got his legs under him. So it could have just been a balance thing rather than him actually being hurt. Round seven. Left hook to the body from Povetkin. The right hand over the top. I think if Hammer actually came to fight, this could be a very different situation. But the fact is, he looks like he's in just pure sparring partner mode. Right hand, left hook combination, left hook combination from Povetkin. Nice combination, sharp. Again, he's landing round the back. And then Kane wants to hold Povetkin. Time out. Now, what is the referee going to say to to Hammer? Holding, holding, one point. I believe this is Roy Francis. I could be wrong. Not Roy Francis. Could be, no, it's not Roy Francis. Uh, the referee. But his referee looks familiar. He's a British referee for sure. This is one point off for Hammer. Well, any points. John C. Yadda winning the fight on points. You can forget that. Oh, right hand there from Hammer. He can forget about winning his fight on points anyway. I never thought he could win the fight on points. He'd have to knock Povetkin out. He hold his old one to Povetkin. And now he does something. I don't know. He's... he's Touching gloves of Povetkin. I don't know what that was all about. Tries to throw a wing of right hand over the top. Combination there. From Povetkin. He's working. He's put his upright net. His work rate's going up. That uppercut inside from Povetkin. Povetkin is on the hunt now for Hammer. He really is. Body shots. Nice combination there from Povetkin. In round seven. Right hand over the top there from Hammer. Vetkin, right hand, looping right hand through the guard of Hammer. Hammer holding on. 
Vetkin, nice body shot. Left hook to the body. Then a right hand over the top. Ran an uppercut through the middle. Vetkin and landed eye-catching shots. More and more, round by round, breaking down Hammer. When you, when you look at what Povetkin's doing here, if the fights are in, round the back of the head, Hammer saying you got punched round the back of the head there by Povetkin. 25 seconds to go to the end of the round. Hammer backing up to the ropes. Povetkin tries to throw punches there on the inside. Most of them are blocked for the first time. Smothered his work in that round. Less than 10 seconds to go. Upper cut through the middle from Povetkin. And the left hook as well from Povetkin. And then a right from Povetkin. And a right hand from Povetkin. As Hammer tried to open up, they touch gloves and then around. The uh, Russian crowd seem as excitable as ever. Which is they're not. They're just sitting and watching. No big amount of cheering. Just sitting down watching. They just. I just can't believe how they're watching this boxing that on their feet cheering for Povetkin. I just don't understand it. But I don't know. So Hammer's not won around, And on top of that now, he uh, has a point deducted as well. Look at the end of this round here. Left hook. He loves that those left hooks, Povetkin. You have to put this in perspective. Povetkin's beating on a guy who doesn't even want to fight back. You're beating on a guy who has really no ambitions to beat him. So... Or any ambitions he may have had in training camp may have been beaten out of him before he even got in the ring. So, um, this is round eight. Povetkin versus Hammer. You I mean, looking at Povetkin's performance against the top heavyweights, Parker, um, Lucas Brown, maybe... Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua. How does Povetkin do against those guys? Well, certainly, if he goes outside of Moscow and fights any of those guys, they're not going to just stand there and let him punch on him. That's for sure. This is round eight. They'll be a bit more competitive. Povetkin. At the moment, I'm predicting a stoppage in round, about round 10 for Povetkin. I'm expecting him to stop hammering around round 10. But we'll see. Round 8. Vacuum right hand. The hammer's proven he's tough as always. Left talk from Provetkin. Nice clean shot there. Oh, left talk again from Provetkin. Then a right hand. Preferred to, prefer to Povetkin, he's been the guy who's been wanting to make this fight happen. He's been wanting to make the fight. He touched gloves again. They're holding on the inside. Hamer's happy to hold. Happy to keep the holding going. And Povetkin hits him with a kind of short left upper cup. They break and they, the fight's on again. Just under, just about a minute to go of this round, round eight. Vekin pushing the action as always. A little bit of head movement there. Tries to hunt Hamer down who voluntarily walks to the ropes. Nice little uppercut on the inside there from Vekin with a right hand. Hamer pushes Vekin off. The Vekin comes in and holds. He himself is initiating the hold this time, Vekin. Right hand, left hand around the corner. There's not much variety in Povetkin's fight. So he's throwing the same punches over and over again. Left hook from Povetkin. An uppercut inside there from Hammer. And he ties and holds up Povetkin. Let's see a bit more variety in Povetkin's work. Same combinations, same places. Left hook to the body, left hook to the head, double left hook to the head, left hook to the body. And uppercut from the middle. That's it. Left hook from Povetkin. Another left hook. Then a right hand. And a right hand left hook. And a left hook left hook. And a big left hook there from Povetkin. 
That caught Hamer's attention. End of the round. Vivek Kid could open Hamer up by just engaging with him. Stop touching gloves and engage with this guy and get him into a fight. Looks like his ref looks like his trainer's telling him something about it. I can't understand Russian, but from the hand gestures, it looks like he's telling him to double up on the left hook. Let's look at the end of this round now. Left hook grazes. Nice jab there from Hammer. Left jab, left jab, right hand round the corner from Povetkin in the replay here we've seen here. Upper cup. Right hand over the top. Right hand misses. Povetkin steps back. I like that's good work there. Good left hook from Povetkin. Round nine, says the ring card girl. This is round nine of Povetkin versus Hammer. Round nine. Um, Povetkin comes out of a hard right hand round the corner of Hammer's guard. And now left hook to the body from Povetkin. Hammer backing up. Now it comes out of the corner of a nice jab. That is backed up again by Povetkin. He starts to initiate an attack. But, but Hamer stretches out the hand out to touch gloves after holding him. <laughs> How many times has Hamer touched gloves in this fight? At least 15. <laughs> At least. And if you count the amount of clean punches, um, Povetkin's landed. Nice body shot. Left hook, right hand from Povetkin there. Upper cut through in the middle. Povetkin shook his arms out as if to say they were like muscles were tightening up on him. He's good to go again. His arms are heavy. Left hook from Povetkin. I like the way he throws his left hook. Near the temple, he lands. It's nice. Povetkin's about the business though. Left hook to the body again. And ribs. And the right hand from Povetkin. Povetkin continues to come forward. Miss slips the jab. Good work there, Povetkin, though. Oh, good cracking right hand there for Povetkin. Hamer took that and he's backing up against the ropes. Again, he took a couple of steps back. Povetkin coming in now. He's a left hook. Really put everything in that left hook there, Povetkin. Like a world win that left hook. Povetkin looking to land something nasty on Hamer. You can see as Hamer's got his hands down by almost. Not covering up like he was earlier. Left hook, short left hook there from Povetkin. Then a right hand. A left hook and another left hook from Povetkin. Really digging his shots in here against Hammer. Hammer's still there. This is round nine. Good right hand there from Hammer. Then an uppercut from Hammer. And then he holds. Even though he's been warned so many times. Come and take a deep gulp of breath there. And Povetkin's coming closer to him on the ropes. Walking his man down and looking to explode and land another combination. Here comes Povetkin. Double jab. 30 seconds to go. Povetkin's got hammer against the ropes. He's cornered him. Right hand there from Povetkin. 23 seconds to go at the end of the round. To end the round. Povetkin, little left hook there. Short little left hooks. Jab, jab come left hook. Right hand through the middle. Povetkin there. Closing. And his trainer's urging him to come forward. Left hook from Povetkin there. A left hook, a right hand over top from Povetkin. A left hook, another left hook. Hamer backs up. End of the round. Hamer smiles at Povetkin. Povetkin. Povetkin looks tired. He does look tired. I mean, if he's tired against a guy like Hammer, let's be honest, how... Is he going to do it against a really big, big heavyweight? So, I mean, you know, the job looked all too much when he fought um, Klitschko. Yeah, 90 to 80, I've got the scorecard myself. A lot of people said to me in the build-up to this fight that Povetkin would easily uh, win the fight. 
And my response to them is, well, it's easy to win a fight when the other guy doesn't want to throw punches back. And I also said it's easy to win a fight when the other guy has been told on no uncertain terms, you're not going to make it. You, you, you cannot beat our guy. We'll pay you all we need to pay you. But you come here, you take your beating, you go home. This is round 10 of 12. This is the round I predicted that Provecki would stop um, hammering. Let's see how that goes. Round 10 is a good round for Povetkin. He stopped Marius Vac in 10 rounds. Although that was, I think it was by a cut. Povetkin. Just looking at Hammer and Hammer looks back at Povetkin. Throws a right hand over the top. I think Povetkin's caught the attention of Hammer, but I haven't seen anything that's... Oh, good left hook there. I haven't seen anything that's really troubled uh, Hammer. Good right hand there from Hammer. Throws a jab this round. Nice jab from Hammer. Right hand through the middle from Povetkin. Povetkin shaking his arms out. Don't quite know why he's doing that. Don't know if it's a muscle thing or what. Or his muscle tightness or cramp or what. He could be arm weary as well. He's throwing a lot of punches against a big guy. So Hammer is a lump of a guy, but he's a fit lump. Povetkin, not much happening in this round. Povetkin just hunting Hammer down. Hammer just leaning against the ropes. So we got left hook, right hand. It's Again, it's not Povetkin's fault that the guy isn't coming to fight. But, you know, right hand over the top there from Hammer. Hammer tried to throw a right hand. Povetkin just took two steps back. He just saw it and just looked at it. Left hook from Povetkin checks. Hammer puts him back in his spot again. Hammer tries to make a, a attack on Povetkin. Povetkin just takes two steps back and makes Hammer's attack null and void. Here comes Povetkin. Hammer walking himself back to the ropes again. This is 40 seconds to go for round 10. Left hook, left hook, left hook, right hand. Povetkin. 34 seconds to see if he's going to stop. Oh, big right hand there. That was the best shot of the fight from Povetkin. And Hammer took it. That's the best shot. And he whispered something to Povetkin. I don't know if it was come on or what. Here comes Povetkin. 20 seconds to go for the, to end the round. That's the best shot from Povetkin. And Hammer took it. Right hand, left hook, right hand from Hammer. And here comes Povetkin. Left hook, end of the round. Two rounds to go. Well, Pavecki didn't get the stoppage. So, I had my suspicions if Pavekin had done something that Tyson Fury couldn't do, and something David Price couldn't do, that if he'd knocked him out inside six, it would have been very suspicious. Right now, Pavekin is, is Pavekin tonight, I think. He looks... Uh, he looks human tonight, for sure. Good right hand there from Hammer. Vetkin throws the upper cup. Hammer's really leaning on the ropes. Which is smart with big right hand over the top. That hit him on the top of the temple. And he took that. So fair play to Hammer. He's a tough man. Very tough man. This is round 11. Believe it or not, they touch gloves for round 11. <laughs> Looking at one another. How am I showing himself to be very, very tough and durable? He took some, he's taken some big shots tonight. Left hook again from Povetkin and the jab from Povetkin. He's not one around in my, in my eyes, Hamer. Or Hammer. Left hook to the body from Povetkin. T something. Christian Hammer's going to have some serious sore ribs in the morning. Right hand over the top. And Hammer says, 
something about a headbutt there. Kovetkin shakes his arms out again. Shoots a right hand, straight right hand to the body of Hammer, Kovetkin. Kovetkin slips a right hand. Left talk, two left talks walking backwards. Nice little work there from Kovetkin, I like that. Kovetkin left talk again. Hammer just tucking up. He's really in survival mode tonight. I've said it from, from round one. That Hammer looked like he's in survival mode. And he's very much in survival mode tonight. Don't get knocked out. Here we go. Here comes Povetkin again. For round 11. Less than a minute to go to the round. Left hook there from Povetkin there. And another left hook. Hammer's taking his shots. Hammer pushes Povetkin off him. Povetkin still on the hunt, still coming forward. Hammer puts his hands up. Fast combination from Povetkin there. Left, right, left, left, left. Three left hooks inside from Povetkin. Hammer puts his hands down by his side, moves back to the ropes, looks at Povetkin. Then tries to throw a left over the top. Povetkin still looking at him. Hammer just sitting against the ropes, leaning against the ropes. The thing is, when you lean against the ropes, what you can do, you can absorb, you can make the ropes absorb the shots. So he's leaning really right, right back. Touch his gloves again with um, Povetkin after wiping blood from his eye away. Left hook, left hook, left hook. Povetkin. He's a bit predictable with the left hook tonight, Povetkin. I'd like to see him, I'd like to see him do something different. I'd like to see him fake with left hook and come with a right hand. Left hook there from Povetkin. Another left hook from Povetkin. And Hammer's holding on. He's cut off his eye there. Hammer, he's cut over the eye, much like uh, in the round. That's round 11. And Povetkin looks exhausted. I've got to say he does look exhausted. But to be fair, he's put in a lot of work tonight. But I'd like to see Povetkin a bit more faints. I'd like to see Povetkin instead of just... Uh, he's tripping up the hooks very nicely. He even did something I didn't think he could do. He stepped back and threw hook, double left hook when Hammer was coming in. So he's done some good work there. I'd like to see Povetkin sort of like switch it up. Instead of trying to go for the left hook... Try the right hand and then come with the left hook. Or faint with the left, come with the right. Or faint with the right, come with the left. Instead of just throwing the same combinations over and over again. The same combination. One, two, left hook to the head. Same combination again. Right hand. Straight, straight punches through the middle. The guard followed by a left hook. This is the 12th and final round of Povetkin versus Hammer. Hammer hasn't won a round... And he had a point deducted for holding. I would have deducted a point for every time they touch gloves. Now they're touching gloves yet again. And now they have a little cuddle in the middle of the ring. It's been 12 rounds of glorified sparring. This is the 12th round coming up now. So can Povetkin close the show with a knockout win? Or are we going to go to 12 rounds? Guaranteed point decision for Povetkin and he moves on. What are we going to have here? Left hook from Povetkin. Left hook to the body. Double left hook to the body from Povetkin. Really digging in body shots in Povetkin. Left hook right hand over the top from Povetkin. That was nice from him. Left hook again Povetkin. Another left hook from Povetkin. Povetkin's got a hit hammer when he's coming forward landing shots. That's where he's less... Unless he's not seeing the shots coming. But when hammer's tucked up, he's, he sees the shots coming. That's why he's got to be more... He's got to hit him when he's... Uh, not in defensive mode because he's in defensive mode at the moment so you've got to open him up let him throw his shots and then counter him feint him Povetkin landed same shots body shots in from Povetkin hammer tucking up as usual right hand misses from Povetkin same combinations from Povetkin round after round after round he's got to change it try a different combination to open the lock again the touch gloves again Povetkin left hook on the inside short little left hook Come up a cut. Then through the middle. Right hand there from Hammer. Left hook blocked from Hammer. That's because Povetkin is throwing the same combinations over and over again. So Hammer's kind of got wise to it. He can brace himself for the left hook. One, two, three. Straight through the middle from Povetkin. His combinations are quite predictable. Predict Povetkin left hook. Very predictable Povetkin. His combinations, his choice of punches... 
there's no um he doesn't mix up his punches meaning like fast jabs slow jabs everything's even hard coming in with left hooks you know walks in straight lines left hook try the left hook again a right hand a left hook there from Povetkin as Wayne want to hold and a left hook and another left hook on the inside left hook uppercut there from Povetkin and a right hand from Povetkin Hamer holds and ties up. Yep, that's right. And holds him up just to get to 12 rounds. Let's do the 12 rounds. Same as thinking to himself, get the 12 rounds, get paid, get the hell out of Russia. That's it. Left hook there. Another left hook and another left hook and another left hook from Povetkin. And a right hand. Good right hand from Povetkin. And Hamer lands with his own. And he cuddles Povetkin in a headlock. No, like an arm lock. And cuddles Povetkin. 14 seconds to go. It looks like this is going to go to points. Povetkin. Right hand. Left hook. The bell's going to go any second. Povetkin comes in. Left left hook on hammer. There's 12 rounds. They've gone 12 rounds. And it's a points win definitely for Alexander Povetkin. Oh, what can I say? Everything I've said in the pre-fight. Uh, the prediction of him getting stopped to the 10th round, I thought well, maybe they'd have pushed for that. But to be honest, it was just what I expected. No way was Hammer coming to Moscow and thinking he was going to win the fight. And even if he came with great shape, there was no way he was going to beat Povetkin. He just came for the money, a payday, and be a sparring session. How many times did he touch gloves in that fight? He probably touched gloves more cleanly than the punches he landed. That is the That is the equation as to what what equates to what christian hammer put for this fight tonight okay this is bwtm sports don't forget to rate subscribe leave comments and please put a like down if you uh, obviously like the video and share it i'm out of here thanks a lot take care